And welcome back to Who Would Win? A unique Who Would Win. A Who Would Win that I've forgotten to put on the Sunday roster. Uh, yeah, when I wrote out my Who Would Win, my entire schedule for the month, apparently I've forgotten to do a Who Would Win the, today. So, yeah, we just decided, I just decided to be like, all right, I'll just find the next one I did. I literally just wrote out my schedule for the month of June. So I'm like, all right, let's put the next one in there, get through them a lot quicker. Uh, and so here we are. This came to us from Irish Tom the Third. A lot of Irish Toms. I'm sure you're most likely the same guy, but you're using a different name, so I will treat it as a different person until proven otherwise. You would ask a unique question. Horror movies versus action movies. I enjoy doing these verses where it's a bit more of a, a really subjective termino uh, subjective debate. Because with just like characters, you do have a list of powers, abilities, feats, levels of scaling that you can kind of get a more of a definitive answer to. It's still all subjective based on how you can interpret the events, unless it's so much of a stomp otherwise. But with this, with uh, verses like this, this really is all just personal opinion. What my answer to this question will be will not be the same as everyone else's. And my reasoning for them certainly will not always be the same. But that's the fun of this. And I, that's why I like doing verses like this that are out of the normal. Uh, out of the norm. So, if you see me one second, I am just making sure real quick that there is nothing crawling on me. Uh, it's I live out in the woods, so it's tick season right now. So, I've already found one on me. Sorry, two on me. Then they didn't attach. I'm fine. But I found two on me. So, anytime I feel something that feels like crawling i just double check you know my dad had the same thing too <laughs> he actually found one on his face today where it, it wasn't attached but he's like oh god what the hell so it's like once you get that find the one the floodgates of ha, 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 happen but i digress so horror and action to very oppose the genres with some similarities they both can have thrills they both can have tension they both can have those yeah moments but one is very one is very different. One is just designed to just act. Every film has action, but the, it all depends on what you're defining by action. Are you talking about a combat sequence of two people fighting? Are you talking about an intense scene of physical exertion? Or are you talking about are talking about more like the action of like a, every day to day, like running or you know verbal altercation, technically being action to a certain degree? Uh, what do you what? I guess the question is what do you uh, attribute to action when why we refer to in one second I got an here. sorry that for some reason now they're just showing up in my room uh, <laughs> uh now when we talk about action though we're clearly talking about like what i used in the poster here or uh, the thumbnail here like a fast and the furious or a john wick avengers comic book movies generally are action films to some degree something where you're going to get combat you're going to get a lot of thrills adrenaline washes all that now, horror can have action in it, but horror is a different genre. Horror is designed to make you feel uncomfortable. It's designed to try to elicit that feeling of dread, of scares. It's trying to make you feel like, oh god, oh god, oh god. While at the same time, trying to entertain you all at once. And that's a fine line to do. So, which do I like better? Well, it's a, it's a broad question because on any given day, I might like a certain horror movie more over than an action movie versus, or an action movie or a horror movie. So, what do both of these do well? And what do these do, what do these two don't do well? Um, that, that sentence doesn't work. What do these do better than the other? And what do these do worse than the other? So, right from the get, I think we should start with horror, but what it does better than action. What does horror do better than action, in my opinion? It's horror is a lot more of a thinking genre. You can have action where it's not it doesn't happen very much, but you can have action where there's actually like a story being told in the fight. You know, you can see them making peace in the fight. Uh, you know, as they trade blows, they're having like an internal monologue with each other, or they're meeting on a plane in their between in their heads where they're talking and working things out all the while trading blows. You can have that in action, but it's really not often action is there more for the adrenaline rush, for the, oh, yeah, moments, for the, you know, the, for the sheer spectacle entertainment of it. Whereas horror is definitely more inwardly entertaining more times than not. That's not always the case, but um, there's definitely usually action involved in horror to some degree. Uh, but horror has, is able to branch out into very unique dramas. In fact, horror can technically be put in just about any other genre of film to make it a blank slash horror film you can have a horror drama a horror action film 
a horror comedy, a horror thriller, a horror psychological film, a horror drama, um, a horror musical. Uh, you can literally do just about anything with horror. Horror is the kind of genre where you, it's eliciting kind of more of that primal urge of, I don't like being here, but I can't stop watching. I'm enjoying the fact that it's able to scare me. You know, horror, that's what horror is trying to do. Action, for the most part, is just trying to entertain you. Uh, and, and, and in that regard, horror definitely gets the edge over action because it's actually trying to tell a story with its scares, whereas action can tell a story, but action is thrown into just about any other film as more as a way to just, you know, get some, get some of the entertainment in, sometimes tell the story, but otherwise, like Fast and the Furious is a perfect example, they're not trying to tell a story with the action, they're just trying to give you a good time. Once in a while, there might be something like a race that's involved in the story, but that's about it. So, in terms of like what the what the uh, genre is trying to do with its uh, with the story, that goes to horror. But if we're talking about what the in talking about the overall entertainment, what action is trying to do, or or what a movie's trying to do, well, action seems to be it seems to be a lot more of a universal entertainer than horror. Uh, more, uh, just about every film, like I said, has action. Action, while horror can be inserted in just about anything, action can be inserted even more into anything. Because drama, you can have action, no problem. It doesn't even have to be a... In fact, action is more unique than horror because you can have action in a movie without it being an action movie. For example, you can have maybe a fisticuff fight scene in a comedy. You know, uh, I'm trying to think um, of, of a movie where that happened, uh, just off the top of my head here. You know what? Here comes the boom. Here comes the boom is not an action comedy, I don't think. But because of the subject matter of it, you do have him fighting in a ring multiple times. So I don't consider that an action comedy. I consider something like Beverly Hills Cop an action comedy. Um, uh, Lethal Weapon is an action comedy. You know, those type of movies are action comedies where there's jokes being told, but there's clearly the... They're, they're, they're split down the middle of what they're doing. They're cops trying to solve the case. They're in gunfights. They might get into a fisticuff fight. You know, all that. You know, they're trying to stop the bad guys. But you're getting laughs at the same time. That's an action comedy, in my opinion. Something like, here comes the boom. Dodgeball are not action comedies, in my opinion. They're just comedies that happen to have an action activity in there. Um, so, because of that, action can be thrown into any movie, period. And... It's fine. So on that regard, action wins. But the, but now we have the uh, real question. At their best, which I think is better, and there's maybe a little bit more facets, but really I think we can now break it down really to the best and the worst. At their best. At their best, let's start with horror. At their best, you're talking about movies that are war to claim movies. We're talking about like Get Out, which is a psychological horror movie. We're talking about uh, the Conjuring series. Not all of them, but like the best of the Conjuring are beloved films. This uh, the Sinister franchise was it Sinister or was oh, Insidious franchise? The Exorcist is hailed as an all-time classic movie. Alien is a horror movie. It is considered all A's. I love Alien. Like you're talking about some of the best that are able to combine the scares, the entertainment, and not most importantly, keep people coming back to see them. You know. J a movie, um, you know a movie is good, a horror movie is good, when it scares people and they want to go back and see it again. American Werewolf of London, one of my favorite horror movies, is a perfect blend of horror and comedy. But when it gets scary, it gets scary. That transformation scene is still one of the most fantastic live action or transformations, period, ever put to screen, period. So it, it is fantastic. When action, though, is at its peak, it is a true spectacle. It, it, what it has a little bit over horror is when you have a big screen horror on big screen, yeah, it's a good movie, it's a good time. When you have a big screen, uh, an action movie, a top class action movie on the big screen, it is literally an experience everyone is there for. All the Marvel films are like Avengers. You, there is no one who isn't just going, oh my god, freaking out that first night of Avengers. John Wick's. You need to watch those on the big screen if you can. Those are fantastic. The fourth one's arguably the best one. Even the Fast and Furious movies, which aren't fantastic, but they still have their audience. Those are enhanced by the big screen. Horror movies are certainly, all movies are enhanced by the big screen, certainly, but 
there the enhancement at their best is more i think towards um uh is more towards uh the action movies but what about at their worst so when we talk about an action movie or a horror movie at their worst you have to be careful because anyone can always just throw like b movies in there like jim cotta or whatever no 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 we're just talking about like Modern day age right now, or not even modern, we're talking about mainstream bad horror or bad action movies. The movies that really, you know, st- kind of went to the theaters and had a place. If you want to go, we can address like some bit more of the B-movie stuff. But really, when I talk about B-movie stuff, we're talking about, I mean, not like a Dolomite or something like that. But um, and where you, he literally just kicks the air and the guy goes down. <laughs> no, not like that. But um, we can like, maybe Jim Cotta can count like so. Well. So, again, the best of, the worst of action versus the worst of horror. When you get bad action in a movie, it it does suck, but it's generally not, like, distracting how bad the action is in a movie. When you get a bad horror film, that, compl- it's still, because action is still trying to be action. It could be lousy action but still action you can even laugh how bad it is you can laugh how bad a bad horror movie is too but the problem with that is a horror movie's purpose is trying to elicit fear or scare out of you and for me that hurts a bad horror movie more than bad action hurts a bad action movie because you could still have a charismatic lead in a bad action movie and he could maybe be selling some of these uh, selling some of these bad movies a little bit more even if you have a good lead in a bad horror movie, if the horror movie is still just... The whole concept of a horror movie is the scare. Whereas an action movie does have character interactions beyond just the action. There is more to an action movie than just the action, but we call it the action because... The action movie, because there is a lot of action. And I think it does hurt a bad horror movie. Well, it's a good thing we're not talking about bad comedy. Because if we're talking about a comedy that's worse, then it's no question... A comedy that's not funny is the worst thing that you could have. A horror movie that's not scary might be close to the second, though. Like, uh, an action movie that isn't action, that doesn't have really good action still has action, though. It's just not very good action. So I think that's kind of the difference. Which leads me to the last point I'm going to make here. One of these films has a distinct disadvantage over the other in terms of how you can compare them to each other. As I said, all films have a certain type of action. But a horror movie a horror movie is specifically trying to elicit a certain emotion out of you. And that hinders how many people can enjoy it. Because there are people who don't like action movies, sure. But like I said, all movies on some level have action. There are people who don't like these, uh, these comic book movies, Fast and Furious movies, but might go watch Puss in Boots, The Last Witch, and love it. And guess what? There's a lot of action in that movie. So action can still work. But there's a lot of people who don't want to be scared, who don't like being scared, who do not go to these movies. And that, I think, is the key difference in the genre, is that you can have action movies that everyone can enjoy on some level, or movies with action that everyone can enjoy. But horror movies do have a more niche group of fans to them. It's a very sizable group, don't get me wrong. It's not like they're a smaller group, but compared to the people who can tolerate action over the people who can tolerate horror, there are more people who tolerate action than horror. And I think that's what tips the favors in action for me. What I think is a better genre. I like action overall more. If you were to look at my uh, my dusting DVDs over there, uh, you would see a lot more action movies than you would horror. You'd still see a couple horror movies over there, don't get me wrong. But um, you would see a lot more action than you would horror. So that is my opinion on this particular subject. I would go action over horror, but I have seen plenty of horror movies that I have very much loved. I own a couple, but I've also seen a bunch of horror movies that are dog shit, but I've also seen a bunch of action movies that are dog shit. Snake Eyes, anyone? That's a dog shit movie. Um, this is just, as I said, my opinion. This is one of the most objective types of who would wins I do. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think action is an overall better genre or do you think horror is an overall better genre? Understanding that that question is a subjective question. Let me know in the comments below what you think. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you folks later.